A flying buttress is a specific form of buttressing most strongly associated with Gothic church architecture. The purpose of any buttress is to resist the lateral forces pushing a wall outwards by redirecting them to the ground. The defining characteristic of a flying buttress is that the buttress is not in contact with the wall like a traditional buttress. Lateral forces are transmitted across an intervening space between the wall and the buttress. Flying buttress systems have two key components, a massive vertical masonry block on the outside of the building and a segmental or quadrant touch, bridging the gap between that buttress and the wall. History Although fully-fledged flying buttresses only developed in the Gothic period, they are described in the Bible in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 41, verses 6 and 7, as part of the detailed design of a new temple, and architectural precursors can be found in Byzantine architecture and in some Romanesque buildings, such as Durham Cathedral, where quadrant touches were used to carry the lateral thrust of the stone vault over the aisles. However these arches were hidden under the gallery roof and only transmitted the forces to the massive outer walls. By the 1160s, architects in the Ile de France were employing similar systems but with longer and finer arches running from the outer surface of the clearer story wall over the roof of the side aisles to meet a heavy vertical buttress rising above the level of the outer wall. The main advantage of such systems is that the outer walls no longer need to be heavy and massive enough to resist the lateral thrusts of the vault. Instead, the wall surface could be reduced with the vertical mass concentrated into external buttresses. Early flying buttresses tended to be far heavier than is required for the static loads involved, as for example at Chartres and around the apse of the Basilica of St. Remy in Reims, which is thought to be among the earliest examples still surviving in its original form. Later architects progressively refined these designs and slimmed down the flyers until typically they were constructed from no more than one. Thickness of voussoir with a capping stone above it is designed to take the lateral force of the vault while the upper one resists the effective wind loading on the roof. The vertical buttresses at the outer end of the flyers were often capped with pinnacles that provide additional vertical loading to help resist the lateral thrust transmitted by the flyer. Gallery Remedial. Another application of the flying buttress is to prop up a leaning wall in danger of collapse. An example is found at Chaddersley Corbett, where a flying buttress has been added as a more practical option instead of dismantling the leaning wall and rebuilding it. The aisle was built in the 14th century, and dismantling it would be a major work.